This is what I was thinking in my mind. I said, man, the white chatterbait, nothing's hitting the white chatterbait. So now that is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. What's up guys? Welcome to Jordan Michael Fishing. If you are new, so in today's episode, we're going to be doing chatterbait fishing again, but we're going to see if color matters, first of all. Second of all, we're going to be using a white chatterbait with a crawl trailer, and then we're going to be using a pumpkin chatterbait or brown, brownish color pumpkin chatterbait. And we are going to be putting a fish pa a paddle tail trailer on the back of that one. Other than that, please smash that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, that way you guys don't miss out. We post videos like this every Friday morning, and um, we got some we got a new spot coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I'm talking about. But guess what, Aiden and Lyndon? Look at that lure. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> yes. See what I was doing, guys? 
I was fishing with it, that chatterbait. So what I did was, so I got the yellow line here, right? Okay, I got the yellow line, white chatterbait, okay? And what I was thinking was, if they're not hitting the white chatterbait, I went to something natural, guys. And what I did was, I went to mono. You know what? I don't know if I have my grippers. I should. Yeah. About to say, I think maybe they were at home. But... Man, when they hit, <laughs> put some time in and go catch these fish yourselves, guys. It, th these fish are just amazing, freak. Oh my God, I can't explain it. It's super addictive. Uh, nine times out of ten, you go out fishing for snakehead and you catch one. You're, if you're anything like me, you're going to be inst instantly addicted. He came right out from underneath that tree. And he ambushed straight. I mean, just, just. I was barely reeling that lure in. Barely reeling it in. This is a nice size fish too. Oh boy. Let me put y'all back on my head. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Damn, that's a pretty fish. Wow. Whoa, scared does me. My face is right there, dude. And just to let you guys know, you know how people think snakeheads can walk. Come on. I'm going to show you guys something. Go ahead, walk. <laughs> they can't walk, guys. They can go downhill. Oh, I gotta go grab my son. Um, I know you're gonna be a pain. You're just gonna have to let me do it, man. You're gonna have to let me do it. That's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done. Very pretty fish, guys. Very pretty. Markings on this one's really nice. Man, I love these fish. Woo! <laughs> Show you guys what I was using. So this is a pumpkin color chatterbait. They're actually hard to find. Um, and this is a quarter ounce chatterbait. See if you look at the head, it's pretty, really small. Okay, and then on the back, I got a four inch. This is actually a 360 G, uh, GT search bait um, replacement. That's all it is, is a paddle tail. Yeah, man. That's exactly what I was thinking in my mind. I said, man, the white chatterbait, nothing's hitting the white chatterbait. So let me go, let me switch to, not only switch to a natural color, but also switch to mono, which is clear. So, and it did the job. It did the job, guys. Totally did the job. This fought pretty hard, too. Watch them all. Nice fish, guys. I wanted to show you guys. 
simple trick that I do uh, you know, that catches me a lot of fish. So one of my main things that I do faithfully every single time I get to a fishing just a spot like this just one spot you know I'm talking about just where I'm standing now, what I'll do is I will cast in the same spot two times I mean you can do it three you can do it four you can do it five if you want I just do it twice and the reason being is from experience, I've caught a lot of them sights fishing. So, and what they do is, nine times out of ten, they won't hit that lure the first time you bring it past. But they hit it the second or third time you bring it past their face. They'll follow, they'll turn around and they'll follow the lure. And, uh, you know, they'll get right up on that thing with their nose and they just won't hit. You bring it back for a second time, bring it right past their face. And, you know, usually they will hit. Um, so that's just a little fact. Cast in the same spot more than once. And don't just, okay, so see how I just cast it a couple times right here? Don't think that there's not a fish right here. You gotta find the snakehead. The snakehead is not gonna find your lure. You gotta find it you know, to a certain extent. Let's go, let's go. Man. Now that is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That was a fight, man. ain't the biggest fish. I tell you what though, I thought it was.
ruined my trailer, dude. So that's what I was doing, guys. Basically, just I was casting into the trees. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. I'm casting right into the trees. I even said, I said, well, I said it to myself. I said, man, one of these days I'm going to get a hit right here. Well, they got to be sitting in that tree. Sure enough, as soon as that hit the water, bam! It's a gorgeous fish, though. Gorgeous fish. Might be one of the prettiest ones I've ever caught, to be honest with you. Yeah, I just got one. I know I say that about a lot of them, guys, but <laughs> this one is really pretty, actually. This small female. Oh, you were nice. Open your mouth right up for me, huh? That's two for the day, guys. Should have three. <laughs> this fish is so little that it's markings see how these markings are on this side of the fish how they're separated there well look at this side this side of the fish is supposed to be the same way and when it gets a little bit older those markings right there will separate that'll do it for this one guys we definitely uh i definitely had a pretty good day today it's a toss-up between the natural chatterbait and the white chatterbait for this video. Now, white chatterbait has been doing... The white chatterbait has been killing it this, this season. So, but this video, we got one on the pumpkin with the paddle tail, and then we got one with the uh, white chatterbait with the crawl trailer. So, with that said... Stay tuned, guys. We got some, got a different spot coming up next week. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.